Hi all, in this video I will be demonstrating you how to send and customize HTML emails via Spring Boot using Thymelip templates. So this video is requested from one of our users and on his request I am creating this video and if you want me to create a video in any of the topic you can mention those topic on the comment sections. So let's get started. So what uh, you will achieve in this video. So we will be creating one Spring Boot applications with uh, HTML templates uh, using uh, the time leap and we will be using Postman uh, to send the emails and lastly we can uh, see how this email look like uh, in our regular Gmail ID and also I will be explaining you how to customize the uh, properties files and what are the things is required uh, to send an email. So let's get started. Before going ahead with the video, I will request you please subscribe to the channel. So I will be going to the website called start.spring.io where I will be creating the Spring Boot applications. So let's select the language as Java and project as Maven and the Spring Boot version you can 3 above uh, you can choose above 3. So group ID I can name as com dot deep developer and artifact ID I can uh, name as HTML email demo something like that and after that the package name will be com dot developer dot html email demo and uh, after package jar java, select the java version greater than 17 and let's add the dependency one by one so as we will be creating web applications so so restful making the restful api we need the web dependency and next as uh, we will be creating or sending mail so we have like java mail sender dependency this is for sending mail and uh, for the getter and setter we will be using lombok dependency to reduce the boilerplate code and lastly as we are dealing with the html so there is a, some template we should use so we have a uh, time leap uh, templates it is a modern server side java templates engine for both web and standalone environment so it's allow HTML to be correctly displayed in the browser. So we'll be using a time leap template in our project. So I'll be generate this and I will open in IntelliJ. So let me open that. So I have generated the project and if we see uh, that we have uh, the time leap dependency added, starter web dependency added, lombok dependency added and, and the starter mail dependency also added. Now, now as, uh, as we'll be creating uh, or the sending mail so there are some properties file we should require so we should uh, write the properties file so let me add those properties file uh, pasted this uh, so here host name port name username means email id user email id or the email id from where we will be sending the email so it is the sender email id you can write it i will update it so password so password you need to use 16 digit app password so let me know if you want a specific video where how to create a 16 digit password i can create a separate video for that as well and the auth will be true and smtp start ttls will be enabled so this is the uh, application dot properties file you can uh, add uh, those uh, details and after that and after that so we'll be adding uh, some details uh, so we'll be sending some details so using the uh, html so for that we should have uh, what is called we should have some html templates so i have already added uh, those all the code in this uh, github repo so from there i will be copying this html templates so we see this uh, email templates i will just uh, copy it and i will be paste it in here where in this template section i will be paste it so before pasting we need to uh, create one html file so we can name it as an html file so we can mention as email template ttm now we can paste it so we have pasted uh, this templates so if we see this template uh, contain a dynamic object called subject and one is called name and another is the message 
so what happened that uh, we will as i shown in uh, previous screenshot so we will be creating those type of event templates and we want this name should be dynamic so from the json or the from the postman we should uh, send a request or we should um, type the different name message will be different as well as the subject of the uh, uh, email will be different so that's why we make it as an dynamic so now uh, let's uh, create one employee details request uh, we can say request class or the employee details class having this subject subject uh, name message and the two uh, two address means from which address we need to pass let me add those so as you see that email details object or the email details class i have created the uh, two subject message and the name and now the image details has been created now we should have some kind of service class so let me create the service class where uh, with one method which you, which will be for sending mail using that html templates so let me create that file so i have created one interface called named as email service and one method called send email with html so it is accepting like two like two address and the subject like subject of the uh, email or and uh, it will be accepting on templates i will explain you what these templates is actually means and what on context so content is coming from the uh, theme lib so what this context means uh, i will explain that also so here we are uh, like manually dynamically passing those things now so that should be passed as a form of context so let me the implementation uh, for this particular uh, functions so the implementation also i have created and i have annotated with service so it's implemented the email service and i have auto add this java mail sender for sending the mail and i have auto add this uh, template engine so uh, for uh, uh, for the processing of templates and with the context that we have just previously shown i'll explain you that also just to, uh, wait for a minute and and this uh, send mail uh, with uh, email this function i have overridden and it is accepting this uh, four argument so before um, uh, explaining uh, uh, this uh, this particular try catch block let me create the controller then uh, you will get to know how this flow is coming and what this actually means i will explain that so let me create the controller first so i have created the controller so uh, i have annotated with the rest controller and this service class uh, i have annotated with auto air and uh, uh, i have created on post mapping so post mapping it will accept a email details object from the json as i shown earlier like uh, the two address subject and, and those will be uh, coming so so for example this uh, get from that uh, email details object from the name i will be get a name and i should map that with the name oh, what is this name actually means this is on this template if you see there is a one one method or variable called name message and this subject so these are dynamic so that's why message and subject these are coming from the json or from the postman so that's why we make this and we map this with the context and this context we are passing i was talking about this context we are passing in this method so now if we see uh, this context has been uh, added and if we see that i have used send mail html method and it is sending like a uh, to address subject and the templates so there is a one uh, string called the template so in this templates i need to pass this email templates so i have passed the name email templates now i will explain you about how this internally is working the about the function so there is we need to uh, for dealing with any uh, customize of templates or any kind of uh, emails if it's content any attachments or any kind of objects apart from the text then we need to deal with my messages so here we have created on my messages from java mail sender and and we have created an object of uh, my message helper and it is accepting my message and um, type will be passed as true and here we have created one html content so how this will be created so from that h template engine we have method called process so it will map the template with the context so template is what is the template that what what we passed from the uh, uh, from the controller so here the template uh, uh, email template is there means the html file 
you can assume it like that it's a html file so that html file will be mapped with a context context means this kind of values key values pair so those two are actually linked so now this helper is there so uh, this helper contain a lot of method if we uh, if we just do like uh, control and space uh, it will be showing few of the methods like to send to text send bcc add bcc so this type of uh, method it will show so we have added a true address which is coming from uh, the json and the subject subject is coming also from the json and as in text we are not passing any text instead we are passing as an html content and if you see this uh, second argument we have mentioned it as, as true now we are sending on the mail using java mail sender so now everything uh, was done and here this value annotation is there to map the username or the sender email id with this sender variable or the sender attribute so now this is uh, actually done now let's uh, go to this um, postman and hit the api before that i will run the applications so let me run the application so i will go to this spring email and i will go to this and click on start so if we see uh, this application got uh, started successfully now uh, let's go to this postman and hit the api so send mail with html so that is the api we have uh, created so now to address i uh, will be mentioning our deep uh, search deep developer pvlo per dot connect dbvlop dot connect other at gmail dot com so the subject is we can pass it as message testing with time limit and we can uh, write the message as welcome to our youtube channel please subscribe and share name we can mention any names and i am um, mentioning it as a uh, viewers so let's click on send so to send this request it will take a few times because that uh, it will be going to smtp and then from there the mail will be sent there will be few latency will be also there after that i will be open this deep developer dot connect at the red gmail dot com uh, emails that will show whether we actually received the email or not if you see this email sent successfully with html template so email is being uh, received successfully okay, let's go and verify whether it's received from our mailbox or not so as you see we have uh, received one email so ma message testing with time leap so if i click on this so we see this customized html templates coming so if we go to this postman so we have uh, passed the name as viewer so you see this name hello viewer is coming and this will come to deep developer a channel subscribe share and this thank you this type of all this are being customized and it is written on as an html templates if i just show you that again html sorry uh, email template so you will see all these things are being written here the developer so all these thing customized things are being written here so if you face any issue while working in this project you can comment on it and please subscribe to the channel